just before uh, speaking about the company itself, I, see, I would like just to tell a last word about luxury and one aspect that was not, I think, dealt with uh, during this conference, which is uh, a specificity of the new, uh, the luxury consumer today. And it's just a, uh, four points really quick uh, in a few seconds. And you know, if you analyze, and I think it's important uh, to know to what kind of luxury, what kind of luxury we talk about for the, to, to hack the luxury, but also to sublimate the luxury uh, experience. So if you do like a graph with the uh, need for status and the possession of wealth, of, uh, of money, uh, you could find four types of consumers. So the, the first one has no money and no need for status, and we call it the proletarian, and he's out of the game of the luxury, so we don't speak about him uh, today. The second one has high need for status, but low revenue, He's, he consumes uh, fake, fake brands and very conspicuous consumption. It's called the, the poser. So we don't deal with him either on luxury or with demand. The third one, you all know about it. He is the consumer of the big brands that might be here in the room uh, with big logos, monograms, and very conspicuous symbols. And he calls the parvenu. He wants everyone to know uh, that he is rich and consuming luxury. So here with Dimon and also with the Hackathon, and when you want to hack luxury, I think uh, you have to address a very specific kind uh, of consumer that has high wealth because luxury is expensive, but also a low need for status. And this one, we call him the patrician, a reference to uh, the Roman citizen that signal each other uh, with discrete symbol. So just to put you uh, in the right mindset, Dimon, as well as the luxury created by the hackers now, targets patricians. They don't need brands. Uh, they want something else, something more than brands. Just a few words about myself. So I'm David Klingbell. Here is my, uh, Twitter, uh, my Twitter name. So if you want to tweet, uh, this conference is total nonsense, and uh, I don't care about it. Tweet it with my name, and I might retweet you. So I was a venture capitalist, and I'm now a luxury entrepreneur and blogger. Uh, I've created uh, two companies in the luxury business, and also a blog called Web & Lux, uh, on which I've written 2,000 articles on this digital transition of luxury brands. So that's, uh, that's my passion, that's my subject. To tell you a bit more about Dimon, uh, first the name. Uh, Dimon is the family name of my great-grandfather, uh, who is the handsome guy on the left on this picture, and who created in the 19th century uh, lux a luxury experience. He was also a luxury hacker in the 19th century. Uh, basically, he uh, uh, traveled uh, in the whole Europe to gather the best of craftsmanship uh, and to make it available to his clients all around the world. So Dimon uh, continues Mm, this vision, but on the 21st century. So basically what we do, Dimon is a private club that is accessible only online on Dimon.com that opens the, the door to, uh, to our members to the best of uh, French craftsmanship, to the finest savoir-faire, savoir -vivre, uh, art de vivre, and that you can access only by invitation. Our model uh, is pretty unique. We are the, the universe of e-commerce. We don't advertise on Google, we are Google independent, you cannot access the website through Google, we don't do ads, we produce only unique items, limited editions or unique uh, pieces that you cannot find anywhere else uh, and that are really made by the best of the best of the craftsmen in France. Today we have more than 4,000 members uh, of our private club that we match with 150 craftsmen uh, to create a beautiful product. And I wanted to show you just a glance of what we do because our creation are results for our members but as we are a family today at the family, uh, we wanted just to share with you uh, some of our creations. So first, uh, we launched uh, a, a collection of creations around the theme of obsession. So we embodied in objects the strongest obsession that there, is, that there are in life. We uh, always partner with a celebrity that, uh, or le uh, opinion leader that uh, write the foreword of the collection. And for the obsession, we partner with uh, Danseuse Etoile de, de l'Opéra de Paris also with a famous uh, fashion photographer. Uh, and basically the result, for instance, so we, we, we worked on the obsession of control, of decision, people who want uh, to control everything that are control freaks. And we worked with craftsmen and designers uh, to create an object that could embody this obsession of control. And this is a decision coin, so I have one in my pocket, I can show it to you uh, after. And when you have a very important decision to, uh, to make in your life, you can give it to chance and just flip the coin and leave the coin decide for you. So on one side there is a yes, on the other side is a, is a no. It's been designed by a, f a famous street artist uh, and built by uh, the best craftsmen uh, in France. They are Entreprise du Patrimoine Vivant and Meilleur Ouvrier de France. So a very prestigious craftsman. We show all this experience, of course, online uh, with videos, photos, and we share really this experience through the internet and technology. 
The second is for the obsession of time. So we, the time is our obsession, the strongest obsession that we, that we all have. Uh, it's so precious. So we decided to create an hourglass, un sablier, uh, to embody this obsession. Um, this hourglass is totally customizable online by uh, the consumer on demand.com. And you can say, for instance, I want a 1,000 seconds hourglass or 550 seconds because it's a symbolic time for you. And we've replaced the sand that is normally in the, the hourglass uh, by some precious uh, uh, glass uh, uh, beads, micro beads that are inside to illustrate how time is precious for, for everyone. The same, so the, the hourglass was the, the fruit of a, a wedding between uh, contemporary designers and uh, exceptional craftsmanship. So for instance, the craftsman who created the, the, uh, this, glass, uh, this hourglass is uh, one of the rare that has twice the title of best craftsman in France, Meilleur Ouvrier de France, and he is uh, one of the reference by working glass. So you can see he's uh, quite, quite old. Uh, just to show you what the experience we share with uh, our member online, we create some videos, so we open really the door to this craftsmanship, and here is like one uh, example of what we do. So uh, the obsession has many other creations. I'll just show you a last uh, creation that we've uh, done on Dimon. So that was our previous collection called The Secrets. And uh, in our object, we've tried to show some secret things or place where you could hide your secrets. And just to give you one example, we've created this uh, humidor, so a box for cigars that can also be used as a box for jewelry or anything else. So uh, built by the best craftsmen, they are the equivalent of haute couture for uh, crafting wood. And the secret of this, uh, of this box is that there is this uh, black uh, stripe on it. And when you order it, you tell what's the biggest secret you want to hide uh, in, uh, in this box. We engraved uh, this secret on this, uh, on this uh, black stripe. Uh, it's totally invisible. You cannot, no one can know your secret. It's totally protected by it. Uh, but if you put your hand on it and with your palm, you're gonna, you rub this stripe, uh, in fact, it's a very specific paint, which is a thermosensitive uh, coat that will slowly reveal with the heat of your palm uh, your secret message for a few seconds and then uh, take it back. So this is the collection that we, that we release. And we also uh, create custom-made uh, products for our uh, clients that we call the special orders, the commande spéciale, that we do both for, uh, uh, for, for uh, people uh, who have a specific idea or, and for those who just want something exceptional. And just to, for the fun, so that's not a product that we've made, uh, but we've imagined a connected object that would be luxury just to fit in with uh, the, the hackers and the runway conference. We've taken uh, a tracker that one of the hackers was, was talking about just before, which is an activity tracker that tells how many steps you do uh, on a day, how many time you sleep, and so on, that tracks your activity. And, but it's quite an awful product. It's not beautiful. You have to hide it in your pocket because it's, it's, it's really ugly. And we imagine how we can sublimate technology with luxury and uh, so we've imagined uh, this watch in which you would put your uh, activity tracker and then you would be really proud to wear it uh, as a luxury object. Another special order that we've done for uh, one of our clients, he asked for us to do the Louboutin for men. Uh, and we've imagined this belt and card holder in a black alligator leather and red leather inside. Uh, so that's a, a few examples. Just to wrap things up before uh, continuing with the, the hackathon, I think the, the aim of this conference and of the hackathon was to think about how we can hack the luxury experience. And in fact, I'm not sure that's the good term because I think the result is what we want to do with Dimon, to bring technology to luxury and bring luxury to technology. Uh, but I would just suggest one change uh, in, the, in this uh, purpose, which would be not to hack, but to sublimate. I think which would be more a luxurious world uh, than hack. 
but with the same results. So together, I hope with the hackers and maybe the knowledge that we are all shared today, we're going to sublimate through technology the luxury experience. Uh, so here are my contacts. If you want to talk about Demand or, uh, or, tweet about, or tweet about it or get invited, I'll be more than happy to, uh, to do it uh, with you after. And thank you very much. Thank you.